Yeah, hello YouTube. Yeah, this is Kemet Prince. Um, I just want to say that I've received so much feedback from the video I made called The Return of the Gods. And basically, I just want to say thanks so much for all the support, all the love I got, you know, and I'm just grateful, really. I'm just grateful, you know, and um, I want other conscious people to spread as much information, anything they know that they can you know spread it out get it out there as soon as you can today i was actually reading a book and it's called the spontaneous power of belief by greg braden he actually wrote another book called the divine matrix which was a fantastic book this is all about the power of belief and actually a while ago i was actually reading a book and um there was just one quote in the book that just stood out so much to me and it was you live in the world that you're thinking of let me repeat that you live in the world that you're thinking of what I'm trying to say is that what you believe creates your reality that's what I'm trying to say and the more I explore this and read books on it, you know, it's just really ringing true for me. I mean, a lot of people like to talk to people and say, OK, come and join my religion. Come and join my society. But the problem with that is you don't see things the way they are. You see things the way you are. So... However you see the world is your reflection. The world is your reflection. Everything you see in the world is your projection. You know, and from, from this book, I mean, all of you should pick it out. Basically, let me just break it down for you. The book was saying that everything operates from the heart chakra operates from the heart so basically the heart is electrical it's magnetic therefore it can interact with the whole universe because the whole universe has got an electric electrical pulse you know that's why a heart is how it is it's myogenic what that means when they say the heart is myogenic it means that it does not require stimulation so it can basically last forever and you know we already know that every cell in our body gets replaced in a certain period of time so you've got a new body next year <laughs> it's pretty cool and basically if we examine the power of belief what it's saying is that what like first of all what is belief okay this author is saying that belief is when you confirm something in your mind and then it's confirmed also in your heart you see so the power of believing in something is very powerful because once you believe in something it doesn't matter what you believe in you will create that reality as simple as that and with all this information people have to start questioning what do I believe do I believe in good and evil do I believe there's two forces in the universe or do I believe there's one? So I'm asking everyone on YouTube, get back to me. What do you believe? Because the thing is, this important question is going to be the basis for your whole belief system. Do you believe that there are two opposing forces in the universe, good and evil? Or God and the devil, which is good, G-O-O-D, God, G-O-D, evil, D, E-V-I-L, devil. So, do you believe there's two opposing forces or do you believe there's one force? Now, if you believe there's actually one force, which I do, what that means, that's going to change your whole outlook on life. 
it's going to change how you see the world you see because if you believe there's one force in the universe nothing is good or bad but thinking makes it so and that's very powerful of course there is karma involved i mean what is karma karma is absolute results of absolute actions absolutely however when you believe there's two opposing forces you continue to make yourself a victim not realizing that you can change your reality simply by your belief system most of the beliefs we have they only become a problem to us when they're negative you see most people don't complain that they're too happy but when something is wrong negatively then it's a problem whenever you see things in division there's always death because there's always separation what i'm trying to say is that people have to really question themselves what do you believe thank you youtubers get back to me <laughs>